Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Hawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. double honest to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, of will. Shalom, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again with another lesson by Harukha Chodash Amaf and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And the title of this video is going to be, It's Over Esau, or it's, or it's Over Edom. Esau, Edom is the true biblical nationality, the so-called white race, the devil that the Bible speaks of. Your rulership, your reign of terror has come to an end. Okay, you're not going to live. See, what he's trying to establish is everlasting rulership and everlasting life that wasn't promised onto you. That was promised onto Jacob. You're rejected, as it says in the book of Hebrews. All right? You're rejected. You were never set up to rule forever. All right? So this dream that you have, this NWO dream, okay, of you ruling forever and having full control of the earth for eternity, that's, that's, that dream is coming to an end. All right? It's time for you to wake up. Okay? So I want to start off with the book of Psalms. This is Psalms. This is good. This is not what I wanted, but I'm going to read it anyway. This is Psalms chapter 17 and verse 13. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. The Lord is going to disappoint you. Okay, your mentality is that your house is going to continue forever. Why well, I thought this was the, the chapter. Right, so the Lord is going to disappoint you. There's more on that. Psalms chapter 49 and verse 11. It says their inward thought. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling places to all generations. They call their lands after their own name. So this is, the, this is their thought process. This is their mentality that they're never going to be brought down. As it says in the book of Isaiah 47. This is Isaiah chapter 47 and verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, speaking of America. Sit, which is how Esau, Edom controls the whole entire earth. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstones and grind mill. Uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg. Uncover the thigh. Pass over the river. So this devil is being exposed. Right? Esau, Edom is being exposed for the devil that the Bible speaks of. Verse, four, verse 3, which is a sign of your end. Okay, you're a fugitive and a vagabond. You've been using different identities, trying to hide from your true nationality, trying to hide from who you truly are. But in the end, it was all to be found out. How are the hidden things of Esau uh, um, uh, sought out? Roughly paraphrasing. Okay, in the book of Lamentations, it says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Esau, that dwelleth in the land of Uz. Why? Because the cup shall be passed on to you. Let's read that real quick. This is Lamentations chapter 4 and verse, 20, uh, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. Uncover the locks. Make bare the leg. You being made naked. You being exposed. Okay. Again, a sign of this devil's end. In the book of Thessalonians, it says that this devil shall be destroyed with the brightness. Let's read that because I was going to butcher it. This is the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 8. It says, and then shalt thou wicked be revealed, be uncovered, be made naked, right? Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And that's what the Lord is doing. The Lord is consuming this devil with the spirit of his mouth. Alright. Which is what? The Holy Spirit and the mouth of his prophets. 
Luke 1 and 70, it says that the Lord speaks through the mouth of his prophets, which have been since the world began. In the book of Hosea, it says that the Lord has multiplied similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. Also in Hosea, it says what? It says the Lord has hewn them by the ministry of the prophets, right? Have hewn them, have cut them up, consumed them by this word, which is sharper than any two-edged sword piercing to the dividing asunder. Right? And then shalt thou wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spear of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. The return of Yahweh Shai Mashiach is synonymous with the end of Esau Edom. They're going to happen simultaneously. As it says in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter, the disciples came to Yahweh Shai privately and asked them, When shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Showing you when Yahweh Shai comes, he's going to end this world, this present evil world that dwells in wickedness. Nothing but wickedness is promoted in this world. And that's why the earth is in the state that it's in. In the book of Proverbs, it says, when the, right, when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. When the, righteous, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. So obviously the righteous is not ruling. Obviously, the true Israelites ain't in the land, ain't in their land today. Because when the true Israelites get into their land, there'll be peace on earth. When the true Israelites get into that, into their, into their homeland, that the land that belongs to them, the holy land, there'll be no more, there, there'll be no more war. Okay. So, who is in that land? A bastard, a fake, a fraud, a phony. And the Lord's going to clean that land for his chosen people, the true chosen people. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we're the biblical Israelites. We're the ones, and, 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 the, and the rest, you may not be going under that title of so-called black or so-called Hispanic, so-called Native American, okay? Because Israel is scattered across the four corners of the earth. There's Israelites in China. That call themselves Chinese, but when you tra when you trace their lineage, their lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. There's Israelites in the land of Ham in Africa, right? That look like a straight up Hamite, but when you trace their lineage, it goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. There's Israelites that look like so called white people, right? But when you trace their lineage, it goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. A prime example is Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin's son looks like a straight up white boy, right? Blonde hair, blue eyes, looks like a straight up devil, okay? But when you trace his lineage, you look at uh, uh, Blake Griffin's father, he's, he's dark as hell. I believe they're Levites, so-called Haitians, okay? So that's just a side note of how Israel is going to be looking like everybody under the sun. Why? Because we've been scattered across the four corners of the earth. And anywhere Jake goes, we're going to uh, 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 procreate, we're going to uh, uh, reproduce with the, with the women that surround. Alright? The nationality is determined by the man. The book of Numbers, the first chapter, the 18 verse. They declared their pedigree by the house of their fathers. By the house of their fathers. <laughs> they declared their pedigree, their race, their lineage, their nation. Okay? By the house of their fathers. By the men. That's why when we read Matthews, the first chapter, it names what? It names, it, it goes into the genealogy of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Okay? And, it, and, it, and as it's naming the genealogy, it's naming men. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Judah. All the way down to, to, to Jesse, King David, Solomon, so on and so forth. Your nationality is determined by the seed that you come out of. All right, that's just a side note. Anyways, let's go back into uh, uh, Thessalonians. This is 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. This is, this the so-called white man is Satan's physical counterpart. Okay, child of Satan. Okay, I believe that's what vocab said. He said, yeah, I'm Satan in the reincarnation. Indeed you are. You're Satan in the flesh. Okay, a son of Satan. 
All right. And the Lord is coming to bring you out of rulership. He's coming to disappoint you going back into that Psalms. You think that you're going to rule forever in wickedness? You're sadly mistaken. Back in Lamentations chapter 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Our punishment has come to an end. That's why the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, sent his only begotten son, Yahweh, shy to liberate us. Starting with the elect. Because two-thirds don't want to be liberated. Right? Two-thirds don't want to... That J. Cole song, don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Two-thirds don't want to be saved. Alright? The wicked of our nation, they want to die here with Esau, Edom. They want to die here with... The, they want to die the death of the uncircumcised. And that's exactly what they're going to do. Okay? The Lord said, those that are my enemies that don't want me to reign over them, bring them hither and slay them before me. And he was talking about his people first and foremost. His own citizens. His own nation. That's not bowing. That's not submitting to uh, 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 to the to, to Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. They're going to be cut off. He's only coming to deliver his elect from the four corners of the earth. To raise them up. Okay? I don't want Ratazama part of that number. To raise us up. Bring this devil down and raise us up. It says that the Lord set if down the throne of proud princes. And set if the meek in their said. The proud prince is this devil. The prince of this world. Okay, the ruler of this world, your throne is being set down. Pride go up before destruction and a haughty look before a fall. We're coming into the time of your destruction. We're coming into the time of your fall. You're falling right now. And soon it's going to be past tense. As it says in Revelations, Babylon is fallen, is fallen that great city. Okay, that may all nations drink of the cup of the wrath of, uh, that, that made all nations drink of the cup of our fornication. All right. Spread her wickedness across the four corners of the earth. That's all coming to an end. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away in the captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. It's time, it's time for you to be judged. Okay? You've been caught. Alright? You've been caught. Ain't no more hiding. It says in the book of Jeremiah, he shall not be able to hide himself. You've been on the run for all these years. I'm the Greeks. No, I'm the Romans. I'm the, I'm, I'm the Idumians. No, I'm white. I'm you, everybody under the sun. But now the Lord, the spirit of the Lord has revealed you. Okay. And this truth is eating you up. It's consuming you. That's why you're doing everything that you can to stop this word from going out. But it's too late. It's too late, devil. All right. It's over with. Let's get this real quick. This is the book of Revelation. <clears throat> this is Revelation chapter 11 and verse 18. And the nations were angry, and, the, and thy wrath is come. And the time of the dead, that they should be judged. Yeah, so it's the time of the dead is what? The nations. It's talking about these nations. Time that these nations, starting with Esau, Edom, it's time for y'all to be judged. And that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, raising up his servants. Right? And to the saints... And them that fear thy name. IUIC is crossed out. You could call them whatever you want. You could call them yo play yogurt. You could call them jalapeno pepper. As long as you have fringes. Stupid niggas. What did King David say? Do not I hate them that hate thee, O Lord. That taketh thy name in vain. Do not I hate them with a perfect hatred. Right? You taking the Lord's name in vain. You're not one of his servants. You're not one of his prophets. You're not a saint. Right? It says, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. This devil has destroyed the earth. Going back into that Proverbs 29. When the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. Everything is mourning. Okay? In the book of Pro also in the book of Proverbs, it calls the ant a people. Right? So that shows you that these, di that, that, that these different creations can be likened onto people, right? So when it says the people mourn, it's just talking about everything on the earth is mourning. Right? The ants, the bees, the birds, whales beaching themselves. Sea life just, just committing suicide because the water is so polluted. Birds just running in the building because the air is so polluted. It's time for this devil to be judged. 
it's time for his rulership to come to an end. Okay? That's it on that. That's it on that. Back in Isaiah 47, in verse 3, thy, naked, thy, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. Yahweh Shai is on his way, and he's not coming back as a regular man. It's a regular mortal man. He's not coming back as the sacrificial lamb. He already did that. He's coming back as the Lion of Judah. He's coming back as a superpower with the host of heaven. And he's coming to raise up his chosen. He's coming to, to give, like we just read, reward unto his servants, the prophets, his saints that fear his name. He's coming to raise us up. I don't want to rot desire and do unto the end, and, I'm, and I am a part of that number. And it says in the book of Philippians that uh, he will change our vile bodies that it may be likened unto his glorious body. So we're not going to be regular mortal men. Okay? And it said, what did Yahweh Shai say? If this was my kingdom, my servants would fight. He's going to give us the power. He said, I will make you my battle axe and weapons of war to break in pieces the nations. This is what's coming. Alright? This is what... This is what What's coming in the very near future. Like the Apostle Gabar. I quote in the Apostle Gabar. All roads have an end. All roads have an end. We're at the end of the boys to men. We're at the end of the road. For Esau, Ed uh, Esau Edom. Okay. The only road that doesn't have an end. Is the, is the kingdom of heaven. Right. Which is going to be given unto the Israelites. Isaiah 45 and 17. Israel shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. Daniel's the second chapter. Matter of fact, let's read Daniel's too. This is Daniel chapter 2. And I'll start at verse. It's a lot. Daniel chapter 2. And verse. 41, and whereas thou sawest feet and toes, part of potter's clay and part of iron, the kingdom shall be divided, but there shall be in, in, like you, there shall be in it of the strength of iron for as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with clay. And this talking about what? The feet, feet have what? Each foot has five toes. So two feet, Right? Ten toes. The ten toes is talking about this current rulership. This current power structure. Alright. EU. Consisting of ten nations. Originally. Right. When you look at the EU flag. The European Union. When you look at their flag. There's twelve stars. Okay. But two of those stars. Are combined. With other two stars. So twelve minus two is ten. It's talking about the ten toes. I believe it's Ireland, which belongs to uh, uh, the uh, Great Britain or the UK, and then you have um, and then you have uh, Portugal and Spain. Okay, so that would knock off two of the stars that's on that flag, making it ten stars, ten nations, ten toes. It's talking about the current power structure that we're living in right now. This is Daniel breaking down the dream that Nebuchadnezzar had. Nebuchadnezzar had a dream of this statue. This statue was symbolic for all the nations that would rise and fall. The head of gold being Babylon. The chest of silver being the Medo persian Empire. Right? The brass, the loins of brass being uh, uh, um, the Greeks. Okay? The legs of iron being the Romans. And now we're in the midst of the feet. Okay? Which, again, is the current power structure that we're living in right now. The end of the time of the Gentiles. Okay? NATO, EU, America. Let's continue to read. Part of them is strong. Part of them is weak. Financially, some of them is strong. Financially, some of them is weak. Militarily, some of them is strong. Militarily, some of them is weak. That's the iron and the clay. It says, they're divided. What did the Lord say? A kingdom divided against itself, it shall not stand. Okay, it says, verse 42, and as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with the with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, 
but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. And in the days of these kings, right, in the time of this rulership, shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom, which shall never be destroyed, world without end. And the kingdom, so the Lord is setting that kingdom up right now. That's why this devil is in so is in such fear. He knows the prophecy. Just like in the times of Herod, when Yahweh was born on the scene, he sent them uh he sent them uh uh what do they call them? Wise men. Okay, they call, he sent the wise men. He seen the, the, the chariot. And he inquired, where shall he be born? Alright? He knew the prophecy, and he tried to do everything to stop Yahweh Shai from being born, which fulfilled other prophecies. They're doing the same thing now in modern day Rome, trying to stop Yahweh Shai to, from coming to the earth. Okay, because they know when he comes, he's going to end this world and put this devil in the chains. Right. And in the days of these kings shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms and it shall stand forever. The only road that doesn't have an have a end is the kingdom of heaven that in which the Lord is setting up right now is establishing right now. And if we as Israelite men hope to rule in that kingdom. Then we need to be ruling ourselves right now. What we do right now is important. It's being looked at. It's being watched. It's being recorded. What we're doing right now is going to establish our status for the rest of eternity. And of course, it all goes back to predestination. Verse 45. For as much as thou sawest that the stone was cut out of the mountains, was like it, of the mountain without hands, and that it break in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, and the silver, and the gold, and the great power I have made known to the king which shall come to pass hereafter. And the dream is certain. And the interpretation thereof sure. And it and it came to pass. Right? Babylon rule, ruled and fell. The Medio Persian Empire, they came into rulership and they fell. Greece, the brass, they came into rulership, they fell. Iron, being Rome, they ruled and they fell. Now we're in the midst of the ten toes. You ruled, and now you're about to fall. Babylon is falling, is falling. That great stone is Yahweh Shai Mashiach coming back in a chariot, okay? To destroy this place and to bring salvation to his chosen. It says that the, the flying roll, Zechariah 5, entered into the house of the thief. How did you get America? You stole it. Make America great again. What made America great in the first place? Free labor. You built it up off the back of slaves. And those slaves just so happen to be the chosen people. The sons of God. The princes of the power. Okay? And you're going to have to pay for that. The Lord will not at all acquit the wicked. Now it's time to pay up. Right? Let's go back into the Isaiah 47. Isaiah 47 in verse... For as for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel, sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called the Lady of the Kingdoms. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted my inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy. Upon the ancient hast thou verily heavily, very heavily laid thy yoke. And thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever. The inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. So that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart. Neither didst remember the latter end of it. Now we're in the time where you have to pay for what you did. Okay. The consequences of touching the apple of the Lord's eye. All right. So that's it on that. Let me get this in Revelation 20. That whole chapter heat though. It's cold. Still hot. 
Khan. Salakia. Let me uh let me throw something on this coal since it's still hot. Some black copal. So this is Revelation chapter 20. Revelation chapter 20 and verse 1. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hands, speaking about Yahweh Shai, right? Binding up Satan, okay? And he laid hold on the dragon, the Roman, the Roman Empire, that old serpent, which is the devil showing you, when we go back into that Thessalonians, it said uh, uh, the devil who already work. I butchered it. Showing you that the Roman Empire, the people that was ruling the Roman Empire is the devil that the Bible speaks of. Satan. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse... Six And now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. The mystery of iniquity. Right? We already read down in verse 9. Even he who is coming is after the uh, working of Satan. Right? Who was ruling at that time? It said doeth already work. Who was ruling at that time? The Roman Empire, Esau, Edom, the devil that the Bible speaks of, Satan, that old serpent, okay? And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years, okay? That thousand years, they call it the Byzantine Empire, or they call it the Dark Ages. Look up the Dark Ages and see how long it was. Approximately, Google it, approximately a thousand years, right? The Dark Ages, why? Because dark-skinned people was ruling. Okay? And Esau Edom was low. Right? Was impoverished as it says in the book of Malachi. Okay? He was bound up. Verse 3. And cast him into the bottomless pit. Speaking of Europe. And shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. That thousand years was fulfilled. Right? Then what happened next? And after that, he must be loosed a little season. After the thousand years, after the, th the, the dark ages, approximately a thousand years, he, Satan, shall be loosed a little season. They call that period the Renaissance period. Renaissance is French for re, it means rebirth. Okay? Rebirth of who? The Roman Empire. Satan coming back into rulership. And it said what? That he would be loosed a little season. Your little season is over with. You're never supposed to reign forever. You're given a short time. And that time is up, devil. This is Job chapter 20 and verse 4. Knowest thou not this of old since man was placed upon earth? That the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrites but for a moment. Your moment's over. It says in Job also 14, it says that he has bounds that he cannot pass. We're approaching them bounds. Okay? And it's not going to go a second over. In Revelations it says that there was missiles, pretty much missiles prepared for a day, for a month, for an hour. Revelation chapter 9 and verse 15. And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. The third part of men is talking about what? The sons of Satan. You got the sons of God being the Israelites, the sons of men being the other nations. And then you got the sons of Satan. Okay. Being Esau, Edom, the so-called white woman and child, white man, woman and child. Right? To slay the third part, of, meaning your, your destruction. You, it's not going to go a second pass. Right? <clears throat> that bound. Back in Job chapter 20 and verse 6. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens 
and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. Yeah, you're going to be be flush like a piece of shit. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? He shall fly away as a dream, as a dream, and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. It's over. Okay? It's over. Yahweh Shai is coming to finish you off. Alright? Before that, we're, we already know what you're going to do before that. You're going to come down having great wrath. Because you know that you have but a short time. You're going to make war with the saints. That have the testimony of Mashiach Yahweh Shai and the word of Yahweh. This is Psalms chapter 7 and verse 9. Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. But establish the just. For the righteous power trieth the hearts and the reins. Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. You're not going to continue to turn men into women and women into men. Okay? You're not going to turn you're not going to continue to prey on little babies. All right? You're not going to continue to be in our land, the holy land, circumcising babies with your teeth. That's coming to an end. You're not going to continue to be on islands. Okay? Sodomizing uh, 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 little boys, okay, and taking the purity from little girls. All that's coming to an end. The fashions of this world passeth away. Second Peter the third chapter: the earth and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. And it's not talking about the whole earth. Scriptures say that the earth abideth forever in the book of Ecclesiastes, and Isaiah says that the Lord created the earth to be inhabited. It's just talking about this rulership. Alright? And the Lord is going to create a new heaven and a new earth. Where in dwelleth righteousness. Not a whole new earth. A whole new heaven. No. It's talking about new rulership. Right? And the earth is going to be refreshed. When this devil that's destroying the earth is destroyed like we read in Revelations. Okay? So let's read this. Just like you have the new moon. Every month you have a new moon. Is that an actual new moon? A brand new moon? No. It's the same moon. It's just refreshed. Okay? This, this devil has, has reached his end. Now it's time for new rulership. Wherein dwelleth righteousness. And the whole earth is going to rejoice under that uh, uh, righteous authority on the earth. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 6. Second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 7. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he, so this is what we should be inquiring about. This is what we should be looking for. The end of this world and the beginning of it that followeth. Right? Which is all, it, it's all synonymous with Yahweh Shai returning. He got to come and he got to get us out this place. He got to bring this devil down and he got to set up a new rulership. He has to fulfill that. He has to fulfill that. And he's going to fulfill that. Everything is lining up. Everything is lining up. The signs that he has given us, we quoted that Matthew the 24th chapter. The signs that are coming and at the end of the world. All those signs are taking place right now. Showing we're at the end and the beginning of it that followeth. And he said unto me from Abraham unto Isaac. When Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held, for, held first the keel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Okay? Your world is coming to an end and an everlasting rulership. It's being established in the days of these kings. Shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And it shall not be left to any other people. But shall break in pieces all these other kingdoms. All these other nations. It's going to be broken into submission. Unto the gods, the sons of the heavenly father. The princes of the power. 
and we will reign as gods upon the earth, a nation of kings and priests. Nothing else is it. That's the that's all. It's only right. That's what's best for the planet. That's what's best for the world. What's ble What's best for the earth? I'm gonna jump down. This is Second Ezra chapter six. This whole chapter is nice. Second Ezra chapter six and verse twenty five. Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape all these is what different signs that would take place in the end. Shall escape and see my salvation and the end of your world. It's talking about the elect being saved and seeing the destruction of Babylon. Only with thy eye shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. It says the ones that have gotten a victory over the beast and his image and his M-A-R-K stood on the sea of glass. Mingle with fire. The sea of glass mingled with fire is talking about the nuclear missiles shooting in the in the firmament and coming down upon uh and coming down upon Hydumia. It's talking about the elect watching this place burn. On the chariots in new bodies watching this place burn. Baba Kosha, sign me up. I need I need one of them seats. I need to be on that chariot. I'm damn sure not trying to be here. It says, Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation and the end of your world. And when men that are received shall see it, who have not tasted death from their birth, and the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed and turned into another meaning. For evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. Triumphing of the wicked is short and but for a moment. Your evil is being put out and it starts with this word. You're being consumed by the spirit of the Lord's mouth. Deceit shall be quenched. How is deceit being quenched? By the truth. Verse 28. As for faith, it shall flourish. Which is which is taking place. Faith is flourishing right now. Alright. And the Lord is taking us. His men, the hopeful elect, he's taking us through Different simulations to increase that faith. Through different chastisements. Through different sufferings. To build up that faith. To build up our hope and our belief. Right? As for faith it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth which have been so long without fruit. Shall be declared. And when he. And that's the point on that. Right? The truth is being declared. The truth is bringing this devil down. Right? It starts with the word, and then the truth is going to physically come. I'm not talking about Errol Spence. I'm not talking about Paul Pierce. Right? If you don't know, their nickname is the truth. Errol the truth Spence. Paul, Paul Pierce, they nicknamed him the truth when he was hooping. I'm talking about Yahweh Shai Mashiach. The way, the truth, the life. Right? Shall be he shall be this this devil is gonna be destroyed by the brightness of his coming. Having that said, Lord willing, that was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Khodash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of his only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior, Racha Khodash, his Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. Let the Mashana Kabala as a Komisha Asharala get double honest to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of the great millstone of a well. Shalom Amabla Bakhir Asharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom Amachim, brothers, keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draw off nine, redemption is nearer than we believe. Also, uh, I got a, it's an old page, but I'm going to start using them, start posting videos on there. Baba Kosha, go and subscribe to that page. Uh, it's going to be GMS Royal Roots. Okay, GMS space Royal Roots with the Z at the end. Uh, I'm be posting my my uh, videos on there as well. Um, Lord's will, I'm gonna tag it tag it in the uh, in the title or put it in the description box. It'll be somewhere in there. But anyways, uh, Lord again, Lord willing, that was edifying. Shalom.